hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel in this video i'm explaining how to add gmail account in outlook so uh, you already have an account in gmail you have a google account so of course you have a gmail account as well for the email purpose and you want to add it to the outlook so first of all let's open outlook i'm using outlook 2016 the procedure is going to be same if it's 13 19 or even uh, new versions you just need to create a profile in case if it's not created normally the profile will be there but i already removed the profile in my last step for my last video so i'm going to create one um, profile with the name outlook so in this video what i'm going to show i will be adding the emails manually using manual setup uh, not i'm not going to add it directly uh, so let's go with the manual setup for additional server types and click on next so there are a different uh, option you have available like for ex adding exchange emails you can go with the first option or uh, you can use pop or imap so here we're going to use pop or imap uh, click on next now we need to add the emails here so before we go there before we do the steps here we will have to make some changes on our gmail account so we're going to go here uh, I already log in with the Gmail account right here. So the first thing we need to do is um, enable the pop and IMAP. Click on settings. See all settings. Forwarding pop and IMAP. Now I need to enable pop for all mails and similarly IMAP for all emails after that I'm just gonna save the changes all right so we are ready to go one more thing you need to do is enabling the less secure apps that you need to make it from a Google account settings because the outlook in default it will block the uh, uh, security because of the security um, protocol security issues it will uh, automatically block Outlook so the thing you need to enable is uh, you need to enable the less secure apps um, we can see that's right now it's off so you just need to enable the less secure apps all right so we're gonna come over here now um, I think it's already saved in case it's okay it's already saved there is no save option automatically that will save the less secure apps option. okay it's on so we're going to come back to this one and here we're going to add the names add the name of our um, account i'm going to give my name and the test email address that we are going to use okay imap incoming mail server we need to choose um, imap.gmail.com all the settings that you can uh, just google the settings for um, gmail imap so you can put over there without any confusion um, gmail imap settings so it will give us the port numbers and all the information for um, adding the emails for any email platforms you can just uh, get it from them if you're not using gmail or some other mail servers you can use you can check there what is their imap settings and smtp settings so that you can configure so right now you can see here imap.gmail.com is the incoming mail server settings all right and outgoing server is smtp dot gmail dot com all right good we're gonna put the password here uh, once we put the password you just make sure that you remember the password and enable the require logon using secure password authentication and click on more settings so that we can co configure the ports outgoing server uh, in gmail you need to enable this one because smtp also requires authentication it will have to send the password in the encrypted form then only the emails will be sent and in advanced you will have to choose ssl and just make sure that the port number is same imap993 you can see the smtp port for start tls 
so starting TLS is 587 so we're gonna put 587 over here um, even if you choose TLS it's gonna be 25 so you're gonna make it 587 and that's it just need to click on OK and we need to test the settings click on next so that it will go for testing phase I think my outlook is a bit slow that's fine so logon is finished right now logon to incoming mail server is completed and it's trying to send a test email message that is also completed and it's showing a congratulation all tests completed successfully click close to continue so you are all set we have all the information we need to set up your account click on finish now you can see the emails over here everything will be synced it will take um, from minutes to hours depending on the um, number of emails the size of emails and everything so right now you can see here 35 emails uh, 100 emails already synced which means the latest emails it will sync first and it will keep increasing the number of emails all right so let us review the settings again in Outlook file account settings and here we gonna see the settings here all settings we can see here SMTP IM IMAP and everything and including the outgoing SMTP servers and port numbers which we are which we have used already so we are all good to go and the emails are being synced you can see when you click on send receive it's sending the emails and it's receiving the emails so everything is good to go the email settings that you're going to make uh, are three settings you need to enable pop and imap and um, you need you will have to enable the let's check your app section as well thank you for watching guys subscribe the channel click the bell icon for notification take care goodbye